We're going to turn now to that unrest in Philadelphia and the new details on the fatal police shooting of Walter Wallace Jr. This morning we are hearing from his family for the first time. Eva Pilgrim is there in Philadelphia for us. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Robin. His family revealing that they called for help not once but twice that day because Wallace was in the midst of a mental health crisis. This morning, they are calling for peace as the National Guard has now been mobilized to help maintain order here in Philadelphia. Overnight, turmoil in Philadelphia. Demonstrators arrested, others wrestled to the ground as anger spilled into the streets following the death of Walter Wallace Jr., a man allegedly armed with a knife and shot by police earlier this week. The unrest sparking a second night of looting. Walmart and other local businesses ransacked throughout the night. Wallace's family now demanding an end to the violence. I hope people show my family and the city some kind of respect because I, 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 like me, I, I ain't got time to loot and burn up and destroy where I live. It's uncalled for. They not helping me and my family. Wallace's family says they called for help Monday, telling the officers when they arrived that he was having a manic episode and was bipolar. I was telling the police to stop. Don't shoot my son. Please don't shoot my son. The video shows two officers on the scene. They repeatedly asked Wallace to put down a knife. Wallace continues moving toward the officers. They fire roughly 14 shots. Every time I close my eyes, I get flashback about multiple shots. The Philadelphia Police Commissioner arriving to the scene shortly after the shooting. I'm here to listen. I don't have answers for what happened today. It just happened. Now saying the department needs to change its training. And the types of calls that we're required to respond to in today's climate, we have to adapt our training uh, along with that. And one of the questions a lot of people are asking is why these officers didn't use tasers. Well, the commissioner says that while some officers on the department's force do have tasers, these officers did not. Robin. It could have made a difference. All right, Eva, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.